Hello and welcome to the webinar, expanding our bestseller portfolio with free new devices. So hello again to everybody who joined this webinar and I'm glad there's a lot of attendees tonight. Last year was very challenging for different product manufacturers, for different businesses, from the smallest devices to the heavy duty machinery. And there is no secret that for Teltonic IoT Group the year was challenging too. But being in the IoT business for more than 23 years, we have learned our lessons. We gain valuable experience that you have to be always ready for the worst. You always have to have not two substitutes, but three or four and maybe now even five. But being close to the customers was always our top priority to support them not only by with local sales, but also with local stock and local support too. As part of IoT Teltonica Group, we have local offices in more than 29 locations across the globe now. And we have more than 2,000 employees already. And having this close connection with our partners, with our customers, is essential to enable close feedback loop that allows us to create a better products for different maturity markets and adapt the way we work in different corners of the world. This closed relationship loop helped us a lot to reach the best results in the history of Teltonica. We as Teltonica Networks were able to reach 80 million euros revenue in 2021 with magnificent 86% growth pace. This would not be possible without our rapidly growing partners and without secure, reliable and easy to use devices. And of course, with today's challenges, their availability. Although we had to adapt in this fluctuating component shortage situation, even then we were able to construct and started the mass production of five new products. And if we are speaking about the results, of course, we have to mention Route 2 and Route 9 series, because our best sellers Route 240, Route 950 and Route 955 were the key devices to reach such an amazing result. Why they are so popular? Why everybody purchased those devices? Well, because they have been in the market for more than five years already, and customers were able to see their quality, their functionality, on the field and project by project customer by customer country by country they established the name not only for themselves but for the teltonica as well and i think you all heard about the global chip shortage situation a few hundred times before right and that some companies are still struggling to produce their products or the lead times are just ridiculous right now and we think that this situation will be for upcoming two years. And we, as the company, don't want to be in such articles or similar articles. And that you, our customers, our partners, will need to wait for the products for two months, for four months, or even for six months, or even more. We just don't want that. Who would want such a situation, right? So our R&D team and purchasing department were working closely and very hardly to provide to you three new devices. Route 241, Route 951, Route 956. Very soon they will reach the mass production line and today I will explain you about all and each of them. So let's start from Route 241. 4G LT CAT4 industrial router with one SIM card slot, two Ethernet ports with Wi Fi, and with one digital input and digital output on four pin power socket. The exact same dimension as Route 240 and capability to withstand harsh environment. So, your question would be you know, so what are the differences? So from the software side, all functionalities will be the same as in our Route 240. Your loved VPN selection, supported protocols, and much more. 
So root 241 equals to root 240 from the software side. So where's the catch? Uh, what are the differences? Maybe there are none, or maybe I'm hiding something, right? <laughs> so root 241 and root 240 will have the difference beneath the surface, inside the router. Root 241 will have a bit faster MediaTek chip than root 240 and twice more RAM. The difference, as you can see, quite minimal. So why it was made then? Well, availability. At the moment we have with plenty of root 240 devices in the warehouse, but after a couple of months, situation could be very different. We have designed root 240 so that our lead times won't suffocate if our supplier won't be able to produce as many chips as we need. I think you all agree that today having a lot of devices ready to ship is a big advantage and we determined to keep for it as long as possible. And so your natural question would be, you know, so what will happen with root 240? Will there be no more root 240 in the coming year? The answer is pretty simple. No. Just no. Root 240 will coexist with root 241. So you could buy root 240 or root 241 as well. As you know, we have different usage scenarios with root 240. As well, we have very similar uh, scenarios, of course, with root 241. So I would like to highlight one business case, a few hundreds even, of smart city solutions. Remote anything. From the first days of pandemic, we tried to make everything and anything remotely. Remote irrigation system control solution is one of them. For green city spaces, irrigation moisture control unit is needed to track changes in weather conditions and activate the irrigation system remotely when needed. The box monitors moisture in the soil, temperature, water pressure and flow. Based on this data, the irrigation can be set up uh, to water the plants automatically once all the requirements are met. It can be remotely activated with an app or via an internet browser, just simply as that. And connectivity is provided by Route 241, industrial cellular router housed within in the irrigation system box. Teltonic Networks router is a perfect fit for this scenario as it can withstand extreme environments like heat, cold and even moisture. The sensors can then relay the data to the monitoring center where the system can be adjusted accordingly and the information analyzed. This lets you to take care of the city green energy without having trained staff on the site and with minimum costs. And now let's move on to speak about Route 951. 4G LT CAT4 industrial router with 4 Ethernet ports, dual SIM capabilities and a Wi-Fi and identical interfaces that we have with Route 950 and the same, yet again, the same RUTOS capabilities as for Route 950. So yet again, are there any differences status? Maybe differences or difference? The same thing as before, the difference lies beneath housing on PCB, the chip, the chip of MediaTek, but with the RAM and flash storage will stay the same. As Route 950 has a lot of use cases, scenarios, so does and Route 950, one, two. So let's check one of it. Few years ago, global manufacturers of any kind of machinery didn't want to have anything with implementation of networking device into their solution, and their arguments, so to speak, were understandable at that time. You know, additional time and cost spent on adding an IoT device, which, which is too big, right? Additional problems, which could occur by installing networking equipment like support, etc. And their mentality was, let's leave it to the integrators. 
all the networking equipment, headache, just leave to the local integrator or even to the end customer if possible. But then, after some time, they changed their mindset. When they saw how much more value IoT could add to their solution, to their product itself. Live support. Now, the support engineer can see everything on their computer monitor and not only via phone call, the old one phone call, right? So, support is much more efficient. Alerts. They can be notified when the solution is facing technical difficulties. And with visible data and settings, you can predict even upcoming issues of the equipment. Trackable working hours, periodic repairs, or all changes allows you to see if your customer is fulfilling warranty policies. And the data, or the data. So the history of machinery usage by the different customer in a different part of environment in different part of the globe is really very very valuable and it's essential for improvement so route 951 is installed in boring and milling equipment as they have customers in a lot of countries in the world and to support them locally would be just nightmare without iot solution without industrial cellular router so Route 951 Industrial 4G LTE Wi-Fi router designed as main or backup internet source. Wi-Fi connection allows controlling the machine using a phone, tablet or computer. But the main thing in this solution is the possibility to connect remotely using a VPN connection established by our router and the equipment provider server. Route 956 Next on the stage, 4G LTE industrial router with dual SIM and four Ethernet ports with multiple serial interfaces and inputs and outputs as, a, as well as Wi-Fi and USB and yet again very similar to its brother Route 955, right? And yet again, the same root OS functionalities as for root 955. So they are quite equally from the software perspective. And yet again, the difference is with the same chip, MediaTek, as other interfaces stayed the same. But maybe somebody noticed uh, that I didn't highlight one interface. No? Well, it is micro SD. You you won't be able to find this interface in route 956 so it's the second difference so let's check the business case of this route 956 device it is a perfect choice for smart grid solution as well as its younger twin brother route 955 as substations are in different locations across any country, that's why dual SIM capability it's a must, and Route 956 has it. There are a lot of legacy equipment devices that can be connected via serial RS-232 and managed by numerous industrial and networking protocols such as Modbus RTU and MQTT. Other equipment can be connected via four Ethernet ports. Moreover, this device is capable to control equipment via multiple inputs and outputs and RS-485. It also has advanced firmware security functions such as firewall and multiple supported VPN services. And our remote management system allows you, even without public IP, to reach almost any equipment which is connected to the router from anywhere in the world. So what are other benefits of these two newest Route 9 series devices? Well, yet again, availability. Route 951 and Route 956 will be available at the end of the first quarter of 2022. At the moment there is a lot of Route 950s, 5s and Route 950s, but in a few months situation could change drastically. Therefore, we want to be prepared for anything that's going to happen, or not, 
we want to be have you know stable stock so we could be able to test to satisfy even uh, then when you ha needed devices yesterday do you have such uh, situations you know when you have a call and your customer is asking I need a device and you are asking when they say oh, yesterday I need it so even for those projects or for those customers we were able to say fine that's pretty fine we have av available stock so overall our best selling devices and newest addition to it can fulfill any primary or backup connectivity use case within different business verticals. In fact, together with our partners, we have developed close to 100 use cases that can be found on our web. Of course, all detailed information about our newest devices you are able to find on our website with data sheets, flyers, pictures and 3G model. This is all I wanted to share with you today. Make sure to check our wiki knowledge base, follow us on social media channels, LinkedIn, Twitter, and I strongly suggest to subscribe to our new newsletter to find the newest information. Thank you.